What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro series for NHL 22. If you haven't already scrolled down, hit that like button, hit that in this one. We are approaching the end of our very first regular season. Oh my goodness, it has been so much fun playing for the Seattle Kraken, who are a top 10 team in the NHL now, man. So it looks like we're going to the playoffs, and I'll see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of the first game of the video against the Vegas Golden Knights. All right, so the 39, 23, and 6 Seattle Kraken here at home at Climate Pledge Arena, baby. I watched uh, the very first Seattle Kraken home win against Montreal, that 5 to 1 game, and my God, like Yanni Gord, Brandon Tanev, all those guys looked absolutely phenomenal. The energy in that building is absolutely ridiculous. It was so, like, infectious. You know what I mean? It was so good. It was such an exciting game to watch because the people were just so into it. It was awesome. It was great. I didn't mind. I'm Eastern time, so I, I mean, I had to stay up until like quarter to one in the morning. But I don't mind, man. I don't mind. All right, here we go. Round the net. Round the net. Let's get it back to Schwartz. I meant to go back to the point, but it's okay. Larson gets it back to Gio in front of the net. What a shot. What a goal. <laughs> Mark Giordano, baby. Oh, captain, my captain. Puts in his 11th of the season. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> What a beast. Look at that. What a screen in front. D-Max there in front. Look at that. Yanni Gord is in front of the net. We're all tied up with a whole bunch of Vegas Golden Knights players. He can't get that one on net. Oh, look at that. D-Max just trailing up. Oh, my goodness. I lost all my speed. And Shea Shea got there to take that one away from us. And here's William Carlson. Oh, and he lost that one to March or so. And it's in behind the Seattle net. So let's go. Round the net. Round the net. I can get there. I can get there. Oh my god, I took a devastating hit. Behind the net, I'm getting up a little slow, though. Oh no. <laughs> so here we go, Adam Larson into the zone. Gets it to Yanni God. Oh, over to Jaden Schwartz. Nice shot and a big save by Leonard, and he's going to cover that one up. That could almost kill this, uh, this first shift, but no, we are staying out there. These super long, like, minute 35, minute 40 shifts over and over again. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The thing is, I don't really... Uh-oh, we got a simulation goal. Hold that thought. What do we got? Oh, baby, Yanni Gord on the power play. It's 3-1 to one Seattle. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm like a broken flipping record at this point. Uh, D to the Mac, man, just does not burn through energy. I've always been like that. Whenever I play NHL, I just don't go through energy. I don't waste energy. So here we go. Mark Stone in front of the net. That one's blocked. Come on, Adam Larson. Oh, it goes off a skate, and Marcheseau brings it right back in to the Seattle zone. I'm kind of trailing around. Oh, that one gets through to Petro. Petro with a big shot. Nice. Stop. But, or uh, it's not Decord, Antoine Bibeau, that's who it is. <laughs> All right, so here we go, D to the Mac, looking for someone to get to. Oh, yeah, back to Adam Larson, baby. And we're coming into the offensive zone, gets the pass back to D to the Mac. Big shot, nice blocker stop by Robin Leonard. Oh, man. So here we go, back towards our own zone. William Carlson's going to lose that one to Jaden Schwartz, but get it back. And Petro gets a nice saucer feed down the ice, but Adam Larson with a great defensive play. We're gone. We're gone, baby. I'm not going to get around this guy. Nah, Petro, man, he's going to stop me every time. Here's Shea Shea. He's Cray Cray, baby. Oh, my goodness. Up to Mark Stone. And we are getting off the ice yet a flip again. We don't want to take long shifts. We don't want to overstay our welcome on the ice here, so... We're up 3-1, to one, though. Right at the end of the second period, we do have a two-goal lead. If we can hold that into the third, I feel pretty damn good. Look at that. There you go. So put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, as we attempt to just keep this lead away from Vegas. Don't let them back in. Hold them off the boards. Maybe even extend this lead a little damn bit. So there's Petro. Oh, man, and he got a little bit of a pick set for him there, and he's coming right into the Seattle zone. Back to the point. Shea Shea. I went down for a block, but I was just off a little bit. And there's Stone. Oh, man. All the Seattle crack. And we're getting all bunched up. Nice poke check by the Mac attack. And Yanni Gord. Yanni Gord. What a feed up the middle to D to the Mac. Coming in. Oh, man. We're going to have to get that around the net. And we're going to get over on our right side. Close to that net. Here we go. D Mac. Back to the point again. Larson in front. Schwartz. Schwartz gets the shot. It's wide open. What a shot. What a goal. 34th of the season for DMAC, baby. <laughs> I said it in the last video. It was the title of the last episode. The damn rebound master, baby. D to the Mac. Just always close to that net. Always getting those rebounds. Putting them in. They may not be the prettiest goals in the world, but I will take them. They all look the same on paper, baby. Look at this. Bounces off. Beautiful shot. Beautiful goal. Leonard almost gets there in time, baby. 
And I can just about promise you at this point we are making the playoffs. Like we're, I think we're closing in on like 90 something points right now. And DMAC couldn't control that one. And it trickles into Robin Leonard, who's forced to cover that one up. Bye bye. Look at this DMAC sixth. Actually, I just moved up to fourth because I got a goal in this one. So I'm up to 34. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right. So DMAC, probably, I can, I can just about promise you DMAC is not going to win the Maurice Richard trophy this year. But uh, the Calder, I think I'm definitely going to take home the Calder trophy this year. Probably not the Maurice. I think that one's going to be uh, in years to come. You know what I mean? So here comes Yanni Gord. Yanni Gord, not going to feed that one. He's just going to take it in. He's going to carry it right in. Oh, if that pass would have worked, that would have been gorgeous, man. But here comes William Carlson, gets it up to Petro, who's blazing down the ice through the center, goes trails off to the right side, and he does get the shot. I was unable to get the pass out. This shift is starting to get a little longer again. You know, I, I, I don't know. I was going somewhere with that, and I lost it. Here we go, Jaden Schwartz up the middle. Oh, we got it. We got it. Can I get around him? Oh my god, Shea Theodore, man. He's just got such crazy speed compared to D to the Mac. And here's Dodonov. Yeah, I know. I made fun of James Sabalski for calling him Dodonov. But it turns out he wasn't wrong. So here we go. Antoine Bibo with a nice stop. You never know. It could be like Marcus Johansson or Marcus Johansson or whatever he goes by today. Next uh, next season, you never know. Dodonov could be Dadanov again. Yeah, who knows. There we go. Geo. Geo getting board played deep in his own zone. We're just hanging out at the point, man. We're just hanging out at the point, watching our guy, making sure that puck does not get back there. Here we go. D to the Mac. Oh, I freaking fanned on the pass to Jaden Schwartz, and it didn't work. So here comes Yanni Gord, man. We're in the zone. Yanni Gord, he's going to take a bump, and he's going to hold on to it because he's a monster. Here we go. Getting around the net. Oh, my goodness, dude. It's like Shea Theodore. Actually, no, I don't even think that was Shea Theodore. There we go. Oh, man, Jaden Schwartz couldn't get a hold of that one. We're on the other side of the net. Jane Schwartz, what a shot, what a goal! And D to the Mac gets the assist on that one, and it's Jaden Schwartz's 20th goal of the season. And we still got 13 games to play this year. After this one's done, could we get him to 20 flipping five, man? Look at that. He just walked out and just sniped it past Robin Lanner, who had like no chance on that one for whatever reason. <laughs> Stoney trapped in the corner. We got it. Jaden Schwartz gets it up to Geo. Geo, I'm trying to get around my guy. Trying to get around my guy. Oh, yeah, we got the feed. We got the feed into the zone. Oh, look at this. Backing up. Big shot. Low on the ice. But Robin Lanner didn't have to be too sharp on that one because it did miss the net. And we got seven and a half to go in this one. Oh, no. Robin Lanner was covering that up, I think, when I pressed the uh, stimulate button. And we got a sim goal now. Is this the glitch goal? We got a multi-goal simulation. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Jaden Schwartz gets another one. I don't know who got the other of the two simulation goals for Seattle. We're up 7-1. to one. Here we go, Yanni Gord. Can he win the ever-important face-off in his own zone? No, but he is straight up just grinding, man. DMAC gets that one behind his own net for Jamie Alexiak. Jamie Alexiak, is he going to get this one out? I'm going to stop up. There we go. Oh, my God. I let it go. I let it go. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the interference, man? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Shay Shay's Cray Cray, baby. Gets that one over to Jonathan Marcheseau, who takes a monster hit. Just outside the zone. Stoney. Stoney, where do you want to go with this? Oh, nice defensive play. And here comes Marcheseau. Oh, I couldn't get that proper hit on him. And a nice stop by Antoine Bibeau, who, if we can hold off the Vegas Golden Knights, could have a very, very good game. And it's looking like we might be able to. Yes, we can, baby. So that is going to be a massive win for the Seattle Kraken. Who that is that our 40th win of the year? That might have been our 40th. Uh, no, 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 no. Not yet. I don't think so. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of the next one. Oh, that was our 40th win. You know what? We're going to simulate up on ahead, and we're going to play the Chicago Blackhawks. We're going to sim two games in this one. We want to get a little closer to the end of the season. So that's really what we're going for. Big 5 nothing win, 41, 24, and 6, and I'll see you guys on the ice. So here we are going to the Madhouse, the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, man, losing 2-1 to one to the powerhouse offensive team that is the Chicago Blackhawks. Dylan Strom, get off this puck, buddy. Here we go. Vinny Dunn, my boy Vinny Dunn, he scored a beautiful goal the other night. I guess that was probably like a week ago now. <laughs> I think it was in the, uh, he scored the very first uh, Seattle Kraken home goal ever. And it was, it was a nice goal. Oh, Jumbo Joe Thornton gets smashed along a little bit there by Dylan Strom. 
And now Connor Murphy's got the puck, leaving his own zone. Here we go. Back into Seattle territory and a nice poke check by the Mac attack to get rid of that one. Jaden Schwartz. Oh, he tries to get a feed to Yanni Gord. It doesn't make it through. And here comes Tyler Johnson. Oh, yeah. Poke it off him, baby. Boom. Tyler Johnson. TJ's getting roughed up. Let's go. Up the ice. Up the ice. Or up the boards. No, I couldn't handle it. And Sammy Vatanen is going to be able to bring that one back towards the Seattle zone again. So no shots getting on net right now, really. Oh, Dennis Chelowski, that was a bad play. And behind your own net, and oh, Johnson almost had a lot of a lot of space to do whatever the heck he wanted right there. We get that one up to Jumbo. Jumbo into the zone. Jumbo, big shot. Nice stop. Schwartzy Wartsy, can you get there? Yes, he can. Okay, we're getting roughed up in front of the net. Here we go. Ooh, oh, nice screen by myself and Jumbo Joe, but we just can't make anything happen with it, and we are going to get off the ice. And Calvin DeHaan back in front to Kirby Doc with a funky little backhander that just misses the net. Yanni Gord, we're just going to toss that one back around our own net. Yanni Gord's got it. And Kirby Doc, I'm trying to get away from Kirby Doc. Oh my goodness, I actually kept the puck. Nice little shot, nice stop by Mark Andre Fleury. Where are we going, baby? Oh, Seth Jones going to get that one out. Up to Dominic Kubalik, who throws it away to Yanni Gord. There we go. I was, gonna, I was thinking about getting that to my other defenseman. It's like, yeah, you know what? Instead, I would just toss it up to Yanni Gord. Here we go. Dominic Kubli coming into the zone. What are we doing with the band? Dennis Chelowski can't seem to stop Kirby Doc, who gets a good shot on net. And now Joey Decord is in the net. Man, so we've been playing like Antoine Bibo, Joey Decord, playing a lot of backups here. It's like, is Groovy Doo out? Oh, we got a simulation goal. What's good? Ah, oh, damn. It's TJ with a power play goal. Man, Callie Arncroke took a penalty. And Dabrinkit only has 25. That's kind of wild. Calvin DeHaan, I tried to poke it off him. Couldn't get the poke check to work. DMAC, whip it back around your own net. Get out of here, man. Who was that? That was Johnny Taves, man. Taser throwing a little bit of, throwing a little hit on him there. Boom. Nice wind up and fire by D to the Mac, but it's wide of the net. There was a lot of traffic anyway. Calvin DeHaan gets it to Dabrinkit, and they're flying through the entire team. Alex the Cat gets it across to Brett Connolly. Nice stop by Joey Decord. My goodness, here we go. Calvin DeHaan, who are you going to, baby? Oh, I thought maybe I could steal that one off, um, but the clock runs out, and that's going to kill the second period, man. So put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, as we attempt to make a nice little comeback in this one. We don't want to just surrender to the Hawks here, man. We don't want them to just walk right through us it's three to one entering the third we'd love to close that gap a little bit put something in on net here comes d to the mac man oh you lost it adam larson's gonna get that one up to yanni gord up to jaden schwartz jaden schwartz flying into the ozone man he's trying to deke his man out nice shot he takes a hit to make that play happen and mark andre Fleury forced to cover up man because the pressure put on by seattle Really early is not too bad. What do we got here? El Capitan saying this is a close game and we need to get the next goal. Are you up for it? Gotcha. So we got to generate some momentum, man. So here we go. Yanni Gordon, get around the net. Get around the net. Kick it around. There we go. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep this now. Back to you, buddy. Oh, we're getting out in front of the net. Yanni Gord. Nope, nope, nope. Across to Jaden Schwartz and that one. Oh, we got it back. Come on, come on. Get open. No, it goes off the leg of Calvin DeHaan. And man, we almost had some great little chances going on there. But... Chicago's defense, which in is is seriously lacking in real life, is certainly a little overpowered in these games. Turns out, and there's Patty Kane. He lost it. Come on, Schwartzy, get around your man. Get around Murphy. <laughs> he can't get around Connor Murphy. We just got to put something in the net here, man. We don't like you know. We just got to make it respectable, dude. Even if we're gonna lose to the Chicago Blackhawks, you just got to make it respectable, bro. Connor Murphy, that one's loose. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right, here we go. Getting through the neutral zone. Gets it to Yanni Gord. Back to Jaden Schwartz. Nice feed back to D to the Mac. We're going to get it back to the point. Geo. Geo in front. D Mac. Oh, my goodness. What a chance. And that one's no good. Kirby Doc wants to have some words with me right now. Holy, what's good? I really hate that I'm on that right side. But you know what? I have been getting a lot of goals lately, so I can't really complain too much. Here we go, Yanni Gord. He's going to lose that draw on Connor Murphy back in his own zone. Stopping up, getting that over to Sammy Vatanen. Sammy Vatanen gets it to TJ. TJ to stall. But they were still stuck in their own zone that entire time. So they're going to dump that one deep in the Seattle zone. And there's Adam Larson. Whoa, that was a sketchy one. Oh, Geo takes a little hit from behind from Dylan Strom. What's good, man? 
Do you want to have words? Like, what are we doing here? Ah, no, we're stuck on each other. Jesus. Murphy, that one's in the middle. I got it, I got it, I got it. There you go. Jaden Schwartz, take this puck, get up ice. I'm going for a change. What do we got? Jaden Schwartz in the zone. He's winding. He's firing. And a nice, easy save by Marc-Andre Fleury. All right, here we go. Yanni Gord, get that face-off win. You know it, baby. Here we go. Jamie Alexiak to Jaden Schwartz. Schwartzy McWartzy just decided he didn't want to cross into the zone. Big pass across to Yanni Gord. What a pass. What a goal. And there's 25 for the assistant captain of the Seattle Kraken, Yanni Flippin' Gord, man. Huh. Or maybe he's not the assistant captain in the game? No, he's not, eh? But Yanni Gord, our number one center, man, gets his 25th of the season assisted by D to the Mac. I ain't going to say no. So Jaden Schwartz picks up the secondary assist on that one. Johnny Taves tries to bring it back into the Seattle zone, but D-Mac gets that good stick in there. Will Butcher gets it up to D-Mac, up to Yanni Gord, who's flying in again, man. Let's just keep this trainer rolling. Nice shot. And a big save by Mark andre Fleury. So we're back within one now, man. This game doesn't look so out of reach. So what do we got, man? Yanni Gord can't win the draw, dude. We need these face-off wins right now. Connolly's having a lot of trouble with this, dude. Connolly is having a heck of a time trying to control this puck, and he does get it over to Johnny Taves. Back to Seth Jones with a funky little through-the-legs pass. Way to be, Yanni Gord. Oh, there you go. Nice feed up to Alexiak to Yanni Gord, who's standing still. He's not doing anything with it. And I was trying to get in front of that net, but it was all for naught. And look at Yanni Gord. What a monster. He's just fighting Taser with everything he's got. <laughs> all right. So getting back into the Oza or the D zone. Sorry. Brett Connolly gets that one in front. And man, if I would have just stayed back. Oh, we're all out of position now. Nobody can get back. Connolly, for whatever reason. Holy, what a deflection. And Decord was like going to the opposite side of the net on that one. <laughs> but uh, we, we got lucky. Kick it up the boards. Oh, yeah, we're open. Let's go, Willie Butcher. I'm getting off the ice, but we got a three, a partial three-on-two going on right there for a second, and we still got it in the ozone. So if we could do something with that, that would be fantabliocious. Damn it, man. They, they took us off the ice. They, they, they simulated down to 30 seconds left. How the heck are we going to get back in this one now? As soon as we get the puck, we're going to pull our goalie and then go into stupid Landia, and we're going to stop playing hockey and forget what a puck is. Jaden Schwartz is getting roughed up, and it's all his own fault. So here we go, Yanni Gord in the zone. Oh, oh, one-man army. What do we got? Right in front. Boom. Nice shot by Gord. Back to D to the Mac. D to the Mac right in front. I threw a saucer feet across, but it didn't work. Borgstrom to Goddard, and he's not going to have time. He throws it 10 feet wide anyway. <laughs> and a nasty loss for the Kraken. A 3-2 to two against the Chicago Blackhawks. So I will see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of the third and final game of this one. So the Seattle Kraken, who are 42-26-6, and six, are on the road and in Winnipeg, man, at the Canada Life Center. That's a new one for me. I don't watch a ton of Winnipeg Jets games, so I didn't realize that that was what their arena was. <laughs> so... 8.54 to go in the second period. Seattle with a 2-1 to one lead in this one. So what are we going to do, baby? Oh, Pierre-Luc Dubois <laughs> getting that one. Around the net is Alexiak up to the Mac attack. Get her up to Cali Arncroke. He is still on the team. I knew that. Turn around. He's getting roughed up real bad by Jason Demers. Get out of here. Good off me, dude. All right, Demers bringing that one into the Seattle's. Oh, no, I got trapped up on my own flipping guy and Andrew Kopp. Gets a nice shot. At least we got Groovy Doo back in the net. So we're going to be feeling good now. I I, re I didn't even realize it until basically the, the, the second game of the video was done. I was like, wow, I'm, I'm doing like TV commentary on this. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like trying to be funny or anything. I was just doing like basic color commentary for a hockey game. Look at that. Gets the stick in there. Beautifully done by the Mac attack. Gets it up to Yanni Gord. And Blake Wheeler is going to steal that one away over to Nate Schmidt. Nate Schmidt to Dubois, and D-Mac gets in the way again. My goodness, best defensive forward. <laughs> not even, I'm not even the best defensive forward on this line. <laughs> Yanni Gord with a great face-off win, gets it back to Will Butcher, back to Gord, up to Jaden Schwartz, and he's coming up the ice, doing ninja deeks all over the place for no damn reason whatsoever, just because he's an idiot. 
D to the Mac. Uh, I was going to just try and whip it into traffic, but it just got blocked. Here we go, Jamie Alexiak. Nice shot. And Hellebuck looked like he was, like, tripping over himself or something. That was a weird one, but he was able to recover. So here we go. Yanni Gore, 228 to go in the second period. Another faceoff win. D-Mac gets it back. with Boom. Oh, tries to throw it high. Far side. But I think it missed the net. I don't think. Oh, come on. Hellebuck got a piece of that one. Schmidt loses it because he's garbage. <laughs> oh, but Andrew Kopp steals it away because I'm garbage. All right, here we go. Back into the Ozar. The D-Zone. I keep getting those two mixed up, man. Back to the point. Nate Schmidt. You ain't shit. Uh, but he still got the shot off. And Grubauer's got to make a good save. Two-thirds of the damn game's out. I do want you guys to see the majority of the games, right? When I'm on the ice or when there's simulation goals or anything like that, Dubois with a big steal, but he can't get the shot off. And Nate Schmidt gets that one back. Demers, big shot. That one's deflected by Blake Wheeler in front of the net. And a huge save by Grubauer, who covers that one up out of pure necessity. And we're getting outshot 20-17 to 17 in this one. So we, did, we really need to turn that one around. Winnipeg is just putting on way too much pressure. We got to find a way to stop that. Nate Schmidt loses that one to DMAC. Getting down the ice. But I, do I got the wheels? Come on, Gord. Come in with me. Nah, he's nowhere to be found. Oh, what a feed. Right in front to Alexiak, and that one's blocked. And there comes Kopp trying to get out of his own zone. This is a real long shift yet again. These are the shifts I don't want to take. And Kopp, we knock him off it. Uh, he gets that one in front to Blake Wheeler, who snipes it home. 26 goals for number 26, Blake Damn Wheeler. Oh, and Elliot freaking Moose over there dancing around on the loose. What's good? His best friend Socks has a costume box. Let's go. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to break the tie, regain the lead in this one. Look at the ice. It's just unbelievable how nice the ice looks in this game. Oh, who is that? Oh, it's Morrissey, right? Yeah, Morrissey loses that one. Where's he going, baby? Where's he going? He's going around his net. I couldn't really follow him there. Scheifel's got it. Scheif gets that one up through the center ice line. He's just going to dump her deep into the Seattle zone. Adam Larson, nice feet up to Jaden Schwartz. Oh, that was an in tight pass. All right, let's get her deep, man. Get her. Whoa, that was on net. <laughs> nice blocker save. Oh, by Connie Hellebuck. Gets it across the... Oh, and it hit the crossbar. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be joking. Oh, D-Mac almost took a hit to make a play. Adam Larson, he still got it. Schwartzy Wartsy, he's not doing anything with it. He's picking his bomb. He doesn't know what to do. Ah, uh, man, here comes Kylie Connor. Kylie Connor gets that one down the ice. Oh, my God, it goes off Geo, and he actually almost shoots on his own net. And Yanni Gord's got to clean up the mess here coming through the uh, blue line into the Winnipeg zone, and Josh Morrissey's got it again, and he's flying down the ice. This is a fast-paced start to the third period, and Nikolai Ehlers with a nice shot, and Adam Larson cleans up the garbage after that one. Nice feed up to the Mac attack, up to Yanni Gord. I'm trying to get around Scheifels. Oh, Yanni Gord takes a hit, and Morrissey takes it away again. I got to get off the ice. You know what? I'm close enough to the bench that I don't feel bad about that line change. Kyle Connor right in front. Oh, please don't be a goal. Oh, man. Odd is a simulation goal. Is it Winnipeg's? No, it's Philip Dano. Puts her past Connor Hellebuck to make it 3-2 to two for the Seattle Crack in five minutes. Into the third period. Nice feed. Up to Gord. Gets it to D-Mac. Back to you, buddy. Oh, ho, 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 and he's in. And he's in. And it's loose. We got it back. We got it back. We got it back. Back to you, Gord. Back around behind the net. Is he going to get it in front? No, he's going to take a hit and he's going to lose it. Ehlers, get off that puck. And Brandon Dillon, he got it back with D-Mac with a big steal. Where are we going? Where are we going? Back to the point. Dennis Chelowski gets it in front to Schwartzy Wartsy. Oh, it was almost loose in front. He took a hit, lost the puck, and it went straight to Hellebuck. We got the lead in this game, though. Dennis Chelowski just wind and fire. It hits Connor, and he don't feel good. We're getting in front of this net. Jaden Schwartz, Jaden Schwartz. Nice shot! What a goal by Jaden Schwartz! And that's his second of the night. I think he had, uh, didn't he have two goals in the last game too? So what's he up to now? 24th of the season. <laughs> I said, it, I think we should probably try and get him 25. It's like at this point, are we going for 30? <laughs> Way to be Jaden Schwartz. So here it comes. Oh, Nikolai Ehlers gets nudged. And here's Jaden Schwartz. We're coming up the, oh, and he has the 37 foot arms that he uses. D-Max steals that one away. I oh, turned the wrong way. Come on, Vinny Dunn. Jaden Schwartz. Oh, he got the shot off and it goes wide. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, I tried to throw it across and it was no good. Kyle Kana 
It's going to take that puck down the ice into our D zone. Scheifel's Ehlers, but the angle was too extreme and he couldn't get there. That one rings off the post on a huge shot. I believe that was Mark Scheifele. Was it? It wasn't. It was Kyle Connor. Okay, here we go. Jared McCann. So that tells me we've been on the ice too damn long. Ah, Jared McCann takes a hit coming into the Ozone. And Brandon Dillon's going to bring it back for Winterpeg. That one gets packed to, that was what, Dano? I didn't pass to you at all. Oh, Jimmy VC, what's he going to do with it, baby? He's just playing with it. He's just ragging the puck. And Hornquist is not being aggressive whatsoever, which is very un-Hornquist-like. And Winnipeg's got an empty net. What? Are we going to the box? For what? You gotta be joking, man. Four on four for 27 seconds. Interference! The only guy I hit had the goddamn puck. You're gonna put me in the box for hitting a puck carrier. For nudging the puck carrier. It wasn't for the puck carrier. I didn't even hit the guy. I literally just, like, bumped into him incidentally. Yanni Gord, man. Yanni Gord up, gets it back to Geo and Scheifel steals that one. In the final couple of minutes of the game, Adam Larson's got to come clean up that mess. Oh, we get around him? Yes, we can. And in front. Ooh. Oh, nice. I tried to go for a snip. We got Nate Schmidt tied up along the boards. And no one's going to come help me. Nikolai Ehlers very easily going to take that puck off a of D to the Mac. Here we go. D-Max got it in the zone yet again. Jaden Schwartz, nowhere to be found. Oh, man, I carved in a little too extreme on that one. And Scheifels didn't even have to take the puck away from me. I just kind of gave it to him. And there's Andrew Kopp back to Nate Schmidt. Big save by Philip Grubauer. He's going to get that up to my boy Calais Yarncroak. Ah, get off me, Morrissey. Or uh, Ehlers, whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> Yarncroak's got that one tied up. I'm going to stay around that right side of the net. No, nope, Kopp's going to take it away. And Nikolai Ehlers is going to try and get that one out of his own zone. So what's good, baby? Ehlers coming in. He's getting surrounded. Nice shot. Nice stop by Grubauer. And he's not going to pass it to me. That's probably going to kill our shift. Stupid elastic band physics that EA loves so much for whatever reason. And we got Riley Trash. Riley Trash. We got it. We stole it away. Stole it away. Oh, my God. I wanted to do a spinarectomy and the game doesn't like me. So it said no. But Patrick Hornfist. Gets it over to Cali Yarncroak, who puts in his 18th of the season on the damn power play. And we got 5-2 lead, baby. Oh, what a play by Patrick Hornquist, man. That's it. I don't know what the wings are for, but good for you, buddy. Kraken, Krakens don't fly. It's just a thing. Cali Yarncroak, the littlest vampire, man. Boom, look at that. Gets a beauty feed from Patrick Hornquist. Puts her home. Three goal lead late in the third. I think that pretty much seals it, man. And I think this might actually take us off the ice for the rest of the game. Yep, that is going to kill it, man. Oh, so that's going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.